Hi, my name is Matthew. Today I'm going to show you how to make a paper boat. Before we start, we're going to need a regular sheet of paper, just like this one I have here. This is just a regular piece of notebook paper. The first step we're going to do when making a paper boat is take the bottom and fold it to the top. So you're going to take the bottom half and just like this, fold it to the top. And try to get it so that the creases line up as best as they can that you get it a nice even sheet of paper just like this just like this once you have your middle crease we're going to make another fold from this time from the right side to the left side so you take your right side here and fold it to the left side just like that and try to get it so that the edges line up as best as you can but it's okay if you mess up and always try again once you have your next crease we're going to unfold it and open it up just like a book. Once you have your paper in this spot, we're going to do another two folds. We're going to take the bottom right hand corner and fold it to the middle just like this. So that the corner touches the little line in the middle that you made earlier. Just like this and fold it down. And you're going to do the same thing on the left side. Take the left corner and fold it to the middle just like that. Just like that. Now you should have something that looks like maybe a little paper airplane. Once you have it like this, let's fold this upside down. So take the top and move it upside down, just like this. You should have a little flap on the bottom. See this little flap I'm making right here, how it opens up? Open it up and fold it to the top, just like this. So you're going to take this and pull it up as far as it can go. And then once it goes up as far as it can, push down so it makes another little line it makes another little line and now that you did that let's flip it over on its back so now we're looking at this side with this side you're going to do something a little bit different you're going to take the bottom right hand corner and do something that similar to what we did earlier you're going to take it and make a little triangle here just like that it's okay if you don't get it the first time this fold is a little bit harder once you have this let's do it to the left side so just like this, we're going to fold it on the left side. And it's okay, once again, if you take multiple attempts. It's totally okay. And now let's take this new, uh, new thing that we created and fold it upwards, just like this, so that it kind of blends into the triangle, to the big triangle we have. Take it, and then let's fold it up. And then once you think you have a good fold, let's press down on the bottom so that blends into the triangle just like that. So once you have this, we're ready to go on to the next step. So the next step is to open it up from the bottom. You see that there's a little mouth here, a little mouth that you can pull open and it should create a little overlap right here. So you're looking for that overlap and once you see it, press down and make a little square. You should have a little square that's made and we're about to do something that's really cool. This step can be a little bit confusing, so if you mess up, that's totally okay. You can go back and wash it again. You're going to take that little mouth, a mouthpiece, the bottom corner, and fold it up to the top, just like this, and make another little triangle. Just like that. Oops, there we go. And then we're going to fold it on the other side and do the exact same thing. Take this bottom corner and fold it up to the top on the opposite side. Now you should be looking at a little triangle in a little triangle just like this and once you have this we're going to do nothing else that's really cool you should see that another mouth was little made just like what we saw before so you can take this little mouth and pull it out and you see once you pull it out you make another little square so let's pull it out and make our next little square and once you have this you're ready to make your paper boats take the top corner the one that's not the mouth see the mouth here Let's go to the opposite side and take these little two, two corners at the top. You should see that they come out a little bit like this. Pull them out as far as you can and make sure you clean it up a little bit on the inside. And once you do that, you have your paper boat.